welcome to Chop Chat Cook. This episode we're going to be talking to Lois, and welcome Lois, Thank you. Uh, about packing your life into a box. Now Chop Chat Cook, uh, it's about women who have experienced uh, issues associated with homelessness and the sort of financial um, aspects that are related to that. Uh, we're in my kitchen and the reason why we're in the kitchen is that the kitchen is the heart of the home. When I was growing up uh, on the farm, everyone would come to the back door of the farmhouse and we'd have a cup of tea around the kitchen. And my father's friends, you know, would probably have um, a beer. So, uh, welcome Lois. And we're going to uh, have a cup of tea and a cup yes. of coffee. And we're going to chat about packing your life into a box. Yes, I've got, I've got many boxes, but you're you packing your possessions into a box. Uh, well, yes. I think, yeah, I think some people would have more boxes than other people. Yes, well, wouldn't they? Yes. well I've got lots of boxes and lots of possessions in boxes. That I don't know where they are and I don't know where they're all. Oh no. Oh, Lois. Oh, I'm sorry to upset you. You right? Okay. Deep breath. Okay. I've got over it before, so I'll get over oh. it again. No, it's been terrible for you, hasn't it? Yeah, but it's... You talk about the lovely bowl that you gave me. Yeah, well, that's one thing that didn't go in the box. I know. I found a good home for this because it was important for it to go to someone who would appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stupid woman. No, no, you're not. It's just been a terrible time, hasn't it, for you? It has. But, um, yeah, I go to look for something and it's just, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's hard. It is, isn't it? And you, you had to rent uh, somewhere, like yes. know, a townhouse. You got this. You come from a fairly spacious home into something smaller, and there's no room to put anything. So things have to stay in boxes. You probably think, why doesn't she unpack these boxes? But there's no way to put anything. Yeah. No, that is. It's really hard. Yeah. yeah. And it's a much smaller place, isn't it, as well? Yes. Yeah, and, it's um, quite small. I think you've been there for a while now, haven't you? Like a year or so? Yeah, 18 months, yeah. It's good. It's a really nice environment to move into, but it's not home. And you can't put your, you know, your paintings and things on the walls. It's just like those bare walls. And yeah, you like to look at the things that you've collected over the years. It, it, not, only, not only the possessions from the house, there's all the, all the stock that we couldn't get rid of from the shop. It's all in boxes, so there's this whole wall of boxes in our garage. And, and we, we can't do anything with them because we declared bankrupt. So you can't sell things because they say, oh, we want the money if you sell it, but they're not worth anything. Oh. So they just sort of sit in boxes. Yeah, boxes. That's, that's really hard, isn't yeah. it? But it is, you do. And a lot of people, faced with the same thing, they just, you know, their life changes, so then they have to move for whatever reason and then they have to pack things away. So you pack things away, so what do you do? You put them all in the box? Because I'm in a rented property, I don't feel like I'm packing something unnecessarily. Yeah. So what am I going to do with it, you know? Mm. Just leave it in the box. Yeah, thank God for packing box. <laughs> Start 
It is though. You're right. Mm-hmm. It gets um, it does. It gets more and more difficult as you get older, doesn't it? And I think as you get older, you lose that bounce back. Yes, yes. And 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 a lot of older people. I'm just not. I'm not solo in this situation. I hear of so many people that especially had small businesses mm. and lost them. So lost know, everything. If, and if you don't gear yourself, your business structure. Don't don't put your house in jeopardy. That's what we did. Yeah. Because we're a partnership. If you had a company, mm. you can. You, your house doesn't have to be part of the business. Yeah, I think that's really good advice, yeah. actually, isn't it? Just to protect yes. protect the family home. Yes, and just get legal advice. And get legal advice. And listen to it. Yes, and listen to it, and um, you know, right from the the beginning, you know, um, be across all of those. Yeah. those sort of issues well my partner he he wouldn't listen so that's why it all went to jelly in the end mm. but that's all right he's still a good boy <laughs> oh well thank you and i'm sorry to upset you but uh okay. it is uh like there's some really good uh advice there for our i viewers, hope so i hope there? so yeah yeah so they talk about prenups and things like that these days well you know it can be, your heart can rule your head and you think, oh no, no, everything will be rosy. We won't have, we won't need to have that sort of uh, financial um, agreement in place. But, you know, it does happen. You it need does to protect happen. yourself. And I especially, think, especially women, they mm, need to protect especially themselves. Women. Mm. And I think protecting, um, you know, protecting y- your assets. Yes, definitely. He worked, he worked sort of 50 years and you think, well, how's all that work gone to? In a box. In a box. Thank you. And thank love. That's right, darling. Thank you. <laughs>